Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner, and today we're going to be talking about Dead Space 2. What a game. This is awesome. So this game um, has 58 achievements for a 1,000 gamer score, and I would give it a 10 out of 10 difficulty. What? Yes, 10 out of 10, because of hardcore mode. Oh yeah. So anyway, I'll talk to you about that. Uh, completion time, about 20 to 25 hours. And the DLC that's included, or, or maybe not included, um, it took about one to two hours. But there is a DLC. It's called Severed. Um, and so playthrough one was on casual difficulty, just to kind of enjoy the game. You get all the story achievements. You get all the miscellaneous achievements. Unless you miss any, you could always do them later. Um, and all the collectible achievements. Same thing. Just you, you try to get all those done if you want. Uh, playthrough two, Zealot difficulty. And play through three, hardcore difficulty. You cannot play hardcore and get the zealot achievement. It doesn't stack. You have to play each one separately. Now, if you can beat hardcore, which I will talk about hardcore. Uh, if you can beat hardcore, then you can go back with what you unlocked during hardcore and go beat zealot in like, you know, very easily. Uh, I think I went back and played it in like three hours or something. So some, some quick time. Um, but yeah, you need to do two separate playthroughs for that. So, up next is playthrough 4, which is the DLC. So, it's not really playthrough, a playthrough of the main story. These, these two playthroughs are separate, the DLC. But you play the DLC on casual, get all the story and miscellaneous achievements, and then play through number 5, DLC on Zealot difficulty. And actually, I don't remember if Zealot is available right away. Um, if you play Zealot, if, you'll, if, you'll, if you could just do it one playthrough, I think you might have to play it through first to get Zealot unlocked, which is... Uh, the case with a lot of Dead Space stuff. So anyway, so Category 1, Story Achievements, there are 15 achievements in this game. How do you like that? So you just play through the story and you get them. Alright, Category 2, Miscellaneous Achievements, 5 achievements for 85 gamer score. So the first one in this category is called Romper Stomper for 25 gamer score, and that's where you stomp 10 containers. So just like in all the games, you could stomp the green containers that they have there. That's easy. So number two, first aid, 10 gamer score. Use quick heal 10 times, and on the Xbox it was B. You just press that and it'll use your health pack. You don't have to go into your inventory. Number three, light speed the Milo. I think I said it right. Um, Venus the Milo. Yeah, whatever. Uh, 10 gamer score. Dismember the light speed boy statue. So at some point, um, I think it's in chapter three, uh, you'll see the statue, and it's on, it's on the video, I'm sure, right now. Um, and you just have to cut, shoot his head off. It's really easy. Uh, I was a little worried about missing it, but no, you'll get it. The next one is number four, fully outfitted for 30 gamer score. And this is upgrade your rig and stasis completely. And the thing about this game is when you have power nodes, you can actually, I think it's called a respect, respect, whatever. All it is is when you put your power nodes in, you could spend, I think it's five 5,000 to take off the power nodes on whatever you put them on on a single thing so like if you if you upgraded your um your gun and you want to take it off all all the power nodes off put it on the rig and stasis upgrade it and then just restart your your, your save you can then have it all back on your your gun so basically you can kind of mess with the system there but they give you the ability to take it off again spend a little money take all the power nodes off and then put them on something else if you want so it's interesting what you can do there so if you want to switch weapons towards the end of the game or something um then you could also take all your power nodes off of that and put it on something else where in the other game dead space one you could not do that all right number five looking good 10 gamer score purchase the advanced suit and if I remember correctly, you get the advanced suit in chapter 13, but I gotta be honest, I don't remember 100%. I think it's 13. All right, and uh, so that's that. All right, so category three, kill achievements. 13 achievements for 225 gamer score. Um, oh, and by the, by the way, the, the advanced suit, I think was it was in a power node room. Uh, and there are a bunch of dead bodies outside of the room. Uh, all right. Uh, number, uh, so category three kill achievements number one shoot the limbs 10 gamer score dismember 25 necromorph limbs yes this is that's so that's what you do 
Number two, skewered, skewered. I cannot say that word either. Apparently, I can't say a lot of words. Skewered in space, 15 gamer score, and pale an enemy into a decompression window to cause it to blow out. So, there are these windows in this game, which are, which are pretty cool. You throw something into them, and they blow out, and then everything that's in the room gets sucked out. It's a great way to get rid of enemies, but you need to shoot the little triangle on top, or else you will get killed. And it's pretty gruesome every time. I, yeah, I don't like seeing that one. So what you need to do is take something, and this game is awesome. You pick up things in this game with the kinesis, and you can actually use them for weapons. The first game, I feel like you couldn't do that. So you could do that, and that, that was actually my number one weapon, Kinesis, to be honest. Uh, it was it was really awesome. So what you need to do is pick up uh, a, a slasher hand or limb or whatever you would call it, and just throw it at an enemy into the window. Not as hard as it sounds, uh, and then it has to blow up. If you throw something in that window, it'll blow out. So, all right, three, and stay down. 10 gamer score. Kill 25 crawling enemies with stomp. So you just got to make sure they're crawling and then stomp them. All right. Four, going for distance. 20 gamer score. Impale an enemy and make them him fly him fly through the air for 17 meters. It must stick to the surface. So big room or whatever. Just make sure you impale it. And as long as it, it hits that wall behind it, it'll, sti uh, it'll stick pretty much. Just make it make sure it's a big room. I, I didn't even try to get that. Just kind of got that, so it's not that hard to get. Um, I right, number five, bouncing Betty, <laughs> ten gamer score, kill assist by catching its mind and throwing it back. One of the best enemies and the hardest enemies in this game and in the third one are cysts. They're these little gross things in the ground or on the wall or on the ceiling, and they shoot these disgusting little mines. And if you walk into it on the hardest difficulty, you're dead basically. So what you need to do is stasis it. Catch and then and then use your kinesis to catch the mine and throw it back at it. Also, not as hard as it sounds, but once you you know, you just have to be careful. All right, number six, brute juke, ten gamer score, kill a brute without taking damage, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Just don't don't get hit. All right, number seven, elevator action, fifteen gamer score, knock off every tripod during the elevator sequence. So this is a little difficult. This is in chapter seven. Uh, you're going up this huge elevator. Uh, and you, you'll know what it is. And these tripod uh, necromorphs are all on the walls trying to get you from each window. So you're surrounded by windows, basically. And the way that you get this and enough time to knock them all off, because if you don't knock them off, they will run away. You need to knock them all off. The best way to do this was, uh, what I think I did was I had the pulse rifle and I used the alternate fire, which is kind of like an exploding thing. And I just shot them off with the exploding part. You could also use the detonator gun. Um, if you beat the game on hardcore, you could also go back and use the hand cannon, of course. But um, you could use the, um, um, the the contact beam. There are a whole bunch of different things you can use. But I used the pulse rifle, the alternate fire. I'm pretty sure I used that. All right. And uh, it might be a little difficult. You might have to re retry it a couple times. Uh, or you might get it the first time. All right. But that's what you have to do. Make sure you don't miss any. Hit them all off. Eight, taste of your own medicine, 20 gamer score. TK impale a live slasher to a surface using a slasher's arm. It must stick to the surface. So, you know what? If you use a slasher's arm um, and impale it 17 meters into a decompression window and blow it out, you just got three achievements in one. How do you like that? All right, so the next category is no. Not the next category, it's the next screen. Number nine, think fast, 15 gamer score. Kill 30 necromorphs with kinesis objects. So basically, you just pick stuff up, throw it at them. I use that so many times, you'll get it. 10, frozen in time, 10 gamer score. Kill 50 necromorphs while they're in stasis. Another thing, just make sure you kill them while they're in stasis. Not, not hard to do, just freeze them, you know. Um, the next one, the nanny, 10 gamer score. Kill 30 crawlers without detonating them. This is it's quite disturbing. Uh, this is the most disturbing enemy. It's little babies with bombs on their backs. Uh, I I don't even know what to say about this. But anyway, so kill 30 of them without detonating them. So if you hit the bomb part, you they blow up, obviously. Or if they, they go near you, they blow up. So you have to hit the body part. Ugh, disturbing. Uh, and then the, the bomb will actually stay there, and you could use the bomb to hit others. So you just have to kill 30 of them like that so that they don't blow up. All right. Uh, 12, epic This. Memberment, 50 gamer score, dismember 2,500 necromorph limbs. Self-explanatory. 
Uh, 13 is vacuum cleaner. 30 gamer score. Decompress 20 necromorphs without getting sucked out yourself. And um, this one was actually very difficult. This was my last miscellaneous achievement in the whole game, I think. Because there just, there just weren't enough times that you could do this. Uh, there weren't enough enemies that could go out when you were doing this. So you might not get this until a later time. But decompressing them and get, getting them sucked out is always one of the best ways to kill them anyway. So you'll probably get that at some point just by playing. But you'll probably need to do more than one game playthrough. Alright. Category 4. Weapon Achievements. 11 achievements for 210 gamer score. So number 1. Picking Favorites. 30 gamer score. Upgrade one weapon completely. That's self-explanatory. Uh, number t I think it was pulse, pulse, uh, not pulse rifle, uh, plasma cutter for me. Uh, number two, my boomstick. Twenty gamer score. Kill six enemies at once with line guns, alternate fire. So all these, I did. I think I spent. Um, I kind of did one in one section. I did all of these. I just kind of got all the weapons and did them all in a row. Um, but I used because I used one weapon usually. Um, so line gun. So use alternate fire and. It just make sure that you have six enemies in a in a in a room in 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 a bunch because then it will kill them all. But to get six enemies in a bunch that will all die in that hit, it's not the easiest thing. So just keep working on it. Uh, try to find a, a section where there are a lot of enemies. All right, um, there are a lot of enemies with the babies, and uh, I didn't do it with this, but the babies and the the kids. Oh dear, I can't. But yeah, the babies and the kids had good sections for that. Ugh. All right, anyway, three, Lawnmower Man, number 10, kill four enemies with the same Ripper Blade. So the Ripper is a is a weapon where the this, this like saw blade comes out. So you just have to try to get four of them in one. I think I did it for the, once again, the kids. Ugh. Anyway, but yeah, but um, that those are good ones to get it on. Four, C-section. I'm sorry, that's, that's just disturbing. I just can't get over it. Um, 10 gamer score. And for this one, you need to knock down one enemy with contact beam, alternate fire, then kill it with primary fire before it stands up. And you need to kind of just knock it back with the alternate fire. You could stasis it if you want and just make sure you kill it before it gets back up. That's it. All right, number five, clean cut, 10 gamer score. Sever all three tentacles of a lurker with one line gun primary fire shot. And I think for this, I stasis the lurker and I aimed for its head. I think that was the, once the tentacles come out, I think aiming at the head was the best way to get it done. Um, yeah, so just keep trying to do it. You'll get it eventually if you're trying to get it. And six, peekaboo, 20 gamer score, kill a stalker with a seeker rifle while in zoom mode. These are one of the scariest enemies in my opinion and one of the best enemies in, the, in these games that came in. They're like these chicken things that run at you. <laughs> I love them. They make these horrible sounding squawks. So, seeker rifles like a sniper rifle. So you just have to. Oh, it's almost always in sections where these huge boxes are, and they hide behind them, jump over them, run at you. So, um, all you have to do is they're gonna peek out, try to just shoot it, or if uh, you know, if, or if they they're running at you, hopefully you could snipe it as soon enough. But yeah, just zoom in and then shoot it. Um, shock therapy is number seven. Ten gamer score. Impale an enemy with the javelin gun and use its alt fire to shock three others or three others. Um, yeah, so the, the alternate fire actually shocks everything around you. So impale an enemy, which is basically the javelin gun. And then when there are a whole bunch of enemies around it, alt fire, shock all of them. And then you got that. Eight, necroflambe. Ten gamer score. Kill 50 enemies using the flamethrower. Self-explanatory. Uh, number nine, it's a trap. 20 gamer score. Kill 20 enemies with detonator mines in a deployed state. These are fantastic. I love these things. You just put the mines out. And they walk into it and they blow up. It's great for stalkers, by the way. Those chicken things, they run right into them. Um, but yeah, you'll get that. Um, and, and then, by the way, the alt fire for the detonator mines is actually shutting off the mine. I didn't know that. I, I just kept wasting them without getting them back. You could shut off the mine by pointing at it, kind of, and using alt fire. All right, number 10, the sampler platter. 20 gamer score. Kill a necromorph with every weapon in the game. That's pretty self-explanatory. And 11, fully loaded, 50 gamer score, simultaneously have four completely upgraded weapons. It's not hard, it just, I I think I was able to get it the first playthrough. Uh, I'm, there's a chance I may have had to do a new game plus to have enough. I, there's not a lot of um, 
stuff to up upgrade in this game. Uh, or you could always take off any power nodes you have on your, your rig and on your stasis and all that. Upgrade the weapons um, and take them back off again and put them on the weapons. Or you could reload that checkpoint, all right, or the save or whatever. All right, number five, uh, it's category five, collectible achievements. Four achievements for 50 gamer score. Number one, the engineer, 10 gamer score, collect 10 schematics. Number two, collect Peng, 20 gamer score, find the Peng treasure. So, ooh, I just heard thunder behind me. Can you hear that? That's awesome. Anyway, so there's a storm, obviously, where I am. So, um, collect 10 schematics. The schematics are all over the place. You'll, you'll get them. Same thing with number three, electrician, 10 gamer score, collect 10 semiconductors. There are so many. Uh, you'll collect these things. Now, when it comes to two, collect two, I mean, collect Peng is actually... The, you're going to go through these vents into these two side rooms once you once you're once you're with the uh, the automated AI system I guess automated is the a part of it. <laughs> AI okay um, and there's a there's a way that you're going to and I'll put it in uh, in a video I put up I'll you know uh, it'll be on there basically you need to move these little electrical uh, pieces and they turn green once you're doing the puzzle correctly. If you put them into the spots you are in the left room that you're in, you have to have two rooms to go into to make it work, they'll turn blue. Once they turn blue, you can then go into chloro crawl into a different spot and find the ping treasure. And it's in the video that I'm putting up. You can see what it looks like, the room. Um, so yeah, then, so that's the ping treasure. Um, and electrician, I, saw, I showed you, I'll put up a, a, a guide for um, all the collectibles. But, just like in the last game, Dead Space 1, for number electrician, 10 gamer score, collect 100 logs. You do not have to collect all of them. I love that. You only have to collect 100 of them. I find that easier. That way you can kind of not worry about getting all of them. Uh, as of right, as of me making this video, Dead Space 3, I still don't have all the logs because they're either co-op or they're just, you need to find every single one. So, yeah, this is that's not that hard. And number six, Challenging achievements. Two achievements for 100 gamer score. Number one, Mission Impossible, 50 gamer score. Complete the game on Zealot setting. That is the hardest gamer. I mean, the, the, the hardest difficulty. It is not easy at all. Um, so yeah, good luck with that. I suggest the plasma cutter and the force gun. The force gun is amazing. I can't even explain how amazing it is. So if you upgrade that force gun, which uh, I'm going to put up a hardcore run at some point, and I'm going to uh, and then, but usually that force gun is uh, the, actually the hardcore. Yeah, I use the force gun in hardcore and, gun, and run. But force gun, unbelievable. Use it, all right? Um, but that that's it for that. Hardcore or the core? Here's the deal. 50 gamer score. Complete the game on hardcore setting. Hardcore setting is all 15 levels, three saves. Where do you save? It is ridiculously hard. Uh, let me tell you. Um, on... So where I saved, and you probably hear the thunder behind me, there is a huge storm brewing. You might also hear my dog, by the way. He's whining. Um, so I saved, and everybody has different theories. I saved after Chapter 6, like in the middle of Chapter 6. I also saved before the hardest parts. There are a couple parts in Chapter 13 that are absolutely terrible. Uh, I, I, I don't want to give spoilers, but... Uh, there's this thing that goes around and around the room and can basically kill you in one shot. Um, and then there are two other things after that that I don't want to spoil. If you could save right before that, that would be fantastic. Uh, in Chapter 13. If you want to save at the beginning of 13, that's okay too. But you're going to have to sit through some some uh, some dialogue and all that. Um, yeah, it's... well. So basically, just try, I saved in Chapter 6. I saved in Chapter 13. And... Uh, and I think I saved earlier than that. I saved in chapter 10 or 11. I think before 10. Yeah, so it, listen to other people's thoughts. I saved, I think, 6, six 10, and 13. Um, I, yeah, originally I tried 6, 10, like 11 before the drill part in 12. Uh, you'll know what that is once, once, uh, once you play. But yeah, 13 is the best. If you could save before thir uh, in the middle of 13, that would be awesome. All right, so good luck with that. I'll put up my hardcore run at some point. And uh, it's just knowing where to go, not dying. And it's the quick time type things that kill you. I swear, it's always those quick time things. So, category seven. Uh, DLC story, 
achievements, three achievements for 120 gamer score. So basically playing this severed DLC, which is not super hard. Uh, you get the first one and then uh, you get the second and third. Those are the story ones. So category eight DLC miscellaneous achievements, four achievements for 80 gamer score. Number one, Grindhouse, 20 gamer score. In the grinder room, cause an enemy to die in the grinders. You kind of just have to get him to go in. I think it might have been the lurkers, the little ones with the with the tentacles. Or you could probably stasis them and push it in. That's another option. Number two, ship shape, 20 gamer score. Take out the gunship within 30 seconds. So this gunship, there are the explosive canisters all around the room. I think all I had to do was shoot two of the explosive can canisters at it and it did it in 30 seconds. I remember getting on the third shot, the first shot. All right, so shoot two of those canisters. Number three, ping me again, 20 gamer score. Another ping treasure in Severed. And you could look at a guide for that. Uh, I think I'll put up a guide for that. Uh, number four, remember the Alamo, 20 gamer score, Severed. Kill 16 or more enemies in the final last stand combat sequence. I guess you can hear that storm. I don't know if you can. If you can't, I apologize. Uh, if you can, I apologize. But anyway, in this last sequence, you can't move, basically. You can only move your arms. Just don't worry about it. You know, I don't think that was a spoiler. You need to kill 16 or more of these enemies. And it's not easy. However, it's not super challenging. But you need to make sure that you can really get those enemies. Because if they get to you, uh, you will die. You will die. So, yeah. Make sure you get that. And the last category, DLC. Challenging achievements. One achievement for 50 gamer score. Beat the DLC on Zealot. And it wasn't super difficult, but it's also not super easy. So yeah, that right there is Dead Space 2, one of the best games that I've ever played. Um, I'm gonna have a hardcore run coming out. I also have, I put up today a, a hand cannon. It's a fun video about the hand cannon. Oh, and when you beat hardcore mode, you unlock a sports finger, like a yeah, number one like fist finger thing. You know how they uh, sell those. And it's basically a one shot kill gun. And it's fantastic. And he says, bang bang pew pew when you shoot it yes i swear so anyway if you could beat hardcore to get that it's worth it anyway that's dead space 2 and i'll see you later on the achievement planner